Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com and quantumgravityresearch.org. So, I'm doing something and I figured this would be a really good time to show you some very basic, simple principles about using relays in sensitive electronic circuits. So, what I'm doing is I'm hacking the DSC, uh, the Differential Scanning Calorimeter, which you'll see more on this soon. It's been a little while since I posted about it, but I'm working on it. Um, so inside this machine, which I'll show you right now, there are a lot of relays, and these relays have diodes across their coils, and they also have capacitors across their contacts. So the reason that they do that is for suppression of back EMF spikes. Um, basically, when you energize a coil, and you de-energize a coil, there is a voltage spike going in the wrong direction which will go down the leads of the of the wire and go back into your system. Um, and then also on the contact side, this side here, they put a capacitor. Okay, um, So you put a diode across the coil which allows for the back EMF spike. There you go. That's a little signal diode. You can use a, um, a regular diode too, like a 1N001. So there it is. Um, that's across the coil. And then the capacitor here, which is, this one happens to be um, a high voltage suppression capacitor actually. And the reason you want to put those across your contacts is very simple. Um, when you have electric, even 12 volts across the contact and you pull it open, it wants to arc. So especially if you have like 120 volts or something. Now AC is a little different than DC, but on DC for sure, um, you'll pull an arc across that thing. The AC, you know, when the sinusoidal wave changes, it sort of it reacts a little different, but you can definitely still have an arc across an AC, um, but it acts a little different. So you put a capacitor across the contacts, and when that arcs, it suppresses that arc across here. So it's called a snubbing capacitor, actually. Um, and the diode here is more called a flywheel diode or flyback diode, um, which catches that back EMF. So anyway, um, yeah, more on this system, but I thought I'd share with you some very basic concepts on using relays in sensitive electronics. So if you ever come across a problem where you're seeing some weird things happen, Try putting a diode across the coil and try putting a snubbing capacitor across your contact. Now, you can, these are just parts I grabbed off of the uh, parts bin, just stuff I had taken out of old equipment. So anyway, that's about it. Very, very basic tool that most people do not know, which is actually very important, especially in this type of equipment. So the reason that this has so many is because everything inside here is very, very sensitive to any outside noise, EMF, back signals, any, anything like that. This equipment will pick that up and actually show it on the data, um, which is very bad. So anyway, so I'm adding this to that and I figured, uh, yeah, figured I'd show you this little thing. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thumbs up, thumbs down, and I'll see you later.